Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon waterfall tank and I've just been spending some time over the last few days really really admiring the way this has finally turned out for me but I'm sad to say that we are looking at one of the last few videos of this tank. I am going to be tearing it down and we are going to be doing something different with it here pretty soon. In fact, I went out today and I made a fairly uh, rash fish purchase. So I now have some new fish in a temporary quarantine tub that I set up. And those are going to be the first inhabitants in the new project that we're going to get in here to replace my waterfall. So I've kind of forced my hand. I already have some of the fish, so I kind of need to start moving on getting this done. And so I just want to spend a few minutes looking at the waterfall and kind of saying goodbye, but also kind of pointing out what I enjoy about it. The reason I struggled with it for so long is because it leaked on me. I would often find issues with water in the back, and you'll see when we get around to the back that there's all kind of trays and buckets and stuff uh, for leak issues that I had. And for the longest time, I thought it was leaking from somewhere over in this area or possibly from up in this basin up here. And eventually I figured out that when too much water goes over on this side, the leak is over here somewhere. Uh, water was never really intended to be on this side. So as long as I keep everything flowing properly, I'm good to go. I've not had any issues with any leaks whatsoever. So probably all that uh, resealing and all that struggle I went through was probably completely unnecessary. Probably really was just too much water getting in on that side. And so I could have probably stabilized this much, much sooner had I figured that out. But, you know, water under the bridge. I can't do anything about that now. So when I get to looking at this, if we look at it really nice and closely, that to me, when I look at that, that is no different than what I'd be looking at out at, you know, any of the streams or rivers or whatever that I hike around here, Pretty Boy Reservoir. Uh, we're getting a little bit of this hair algae is getting a little out of control, so I'll have to get in here and pull some of that out from time to time. You can see some more back here is getting really out of control. But that's also what all of that beautiful green streamery looking stuff all oh, that's just hair algae growing down the side of the waterfall right there but if you'll notice when i originally made this you can see the and the colors faded quite a lot over the years but when i originally made this i dyed the silicone to already have dark greens and sort of bluish greens and really really uh, deep brown colors in there and the reason I did that was because I knew one day we'd be looking at all this kind of stuff and we'd be seeing that cyanobacteria and we'd be seeing the hair algae and moss duckweed that would all be a normal part of what was growing all over this tank and it's finally turned out that that's where we've gotten it to it's taken forever but we're finally getting it to where it really looks good to me. I know, again, not everybody thinks that looks good, but I think it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the way it's gotten to be. And, you know, now it's time for it to start going away. So the last couple of days I've been looking at it, I've been enjoying it, and I've been really sort of thinking about where do I go from here? What What's my process of breaking this down and getting all this stuff out of here? What am I going to do with the fish? and so on and so forth so i'm not going to get into that now i'm not going to talk about what my actual project is going to be we're going to save that for the future my members are aware of what i'm going to do i've been talking about it in my members area and doing my members live stream and i actually did shoot a video uh today on the way to the fish store and back and so my members uh will already have a good idea of what i got today so if you're interested in that, you can sign up for basic membership. I don't have any tier levels or anything like that. A basic membership gets you access to pretty much everything on the members area. Uh, otherwise, just make sure you're subscribed, ring that bell, and all that good stuff, and you will get updated when I do any more work on this tank. But for now, uh, suffice it to say that the first thing I will have to do is get the waterfall part of it shut down. We're going to leave the tank alone for now. That's not an issue. Uh, they are more or less separate units. I've got a pump down in the tank, and that pump 
pumps water up this hose and into that basin up there and then it just flows back down and flows back into the tank so if I turn that pump off the waterfall stops I would then just have to drain any standing water out of this basin up here I got a basin up there uh, those would have to get drained this area down here would have to get drained out and then once it was drained I could start dismantling it and again I'm not a hundred percent sure where I would start I have these legs that sort of hold it up and keep it from tipping over backwards so I guess I would start by unscrewing these pulling them out uh, again I got another one here this one really I can literally it's just you can see I actually just cut a notch in the thing but you can see how much that moves and so this really does believe it or not just stabilize it and keep it from tipping over backwards should I ever bump into it or something so that part will be easy to remove it's all just expandable foam so I'm probably gonna wind just breaking it apart and then we get down to here where it's just some pieces of wood and a little bit of shelf and all that and then the, the fish tank itself is sitting on this main framework it's basically a shelf and then I built up on the back of the shelf so I can take all this stuff down and get the waterfall part of it off and just leave that fish tank sitting on a shelf uh, for now there's some of my buckets and whatnot from making sure I collected everything so this tank down here my foot tank that will have to be left intact I will not be able to move those fish into another tank or anything because of the uh, unique nature of this tank they just wouldn't be able to survive a transfer into any of my other water not going to get into that now but uh, they're pretty much in this tank for good and so I don't know where this tank is going to get moved to once we move stuff out of the way here but eventually once we get this cleared out uh, I'm going to have something else in the middle of the room here rather than this waterfall so as I said earlier if you're interested in seeing what that's going to be or watching the process of me tearing it down uh, etc make sure you're subscribed ring that notification bell or better yet sign up for a membership and you'll get access to all that stuff uh, behind the scenes and first I have considered the idea of doing a live stream on like a Saturday afternoon and maybe just live streaming while I start taking it apart uh, and disassembling it so let me know what your thoughts are, are on the comment section uh, if you'd like to see a live stream of me disassembling this or just a video of me doing it uh, or what uh, I don't know how I'm going to go about doing it just yet, but I'd be interested in hearing your input. So, all right, there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank. There's a whole playlist and years and years of videos of this tank, all the way from the construction of it up until now. So check out that playlist if you're interested in seeing uh, what this tank has been through over the years. Uh, otherwise, say goodbye because it is going away very, very shortly, uh, and it's going to break my heart when it does. I really, really love this tank a lot, but nothing's forever, so there you go. All right, everybody. See you on the next one.